Good evening and welcome to the third day of our novena. And this evening we go to the 8th of December 1854. On this day, the dogma of the Immaculate Conception is proclaimed. In the oratory of Don Bosco Aldolfo, they celebrate the great feast to thank Our Lady for having been rescued from the dangers of Cordon. Also that night, Dominic Savio renews the promises of his first Holy Communion before the altar of Our Lady. This is from the biography of St. Dominic Savio and it's written by Don Bosco himself. On December the 8th, 1854, Pope Pius IX proclaimed the dogma of the Immaculate Conception. Don Bosco and his Salesians took great care to prepare the young people of the oratory for that special day. The whole community gathered in the chapel and in a special prayer service, the Salesians and the young people offered themselves to Mary, the Immaculate Mother of Jesus. Dominic remembered his First Communion resolutions that day and renewed them. Death, but not sin, he remembered. From that day onwards, wrote Don Bosco, Dominic made such evident progress in virtue that I began to write down everything I noticed about So this evening we pray for all young people, particularly those preparing for the sacraments this year. May they come to know Jesus in their own lives and be open to follow him in courage and faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give and us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, Queen of Grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And together we pray. O Mary, faithful virgin, implore for us the joy of living the covenant of love, which God established with Don Bosco and Mother Mazzarello. Grant that following your teachings of total adherence to the will of the Father, we may welcome every situation as a call to renew ourselves in faithfulness and love, so that we may bring to the young the joyful news of salvation. Amen. Mary, Immaculate Heart of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 